I'm going to do the what are you known for tag. Uh, not that I know that, think that people actually know me, but uh, just as a way of I find the best tags have a, have a way of prompting you to think about stuff, uh, to maybe process stuff. And oftentimes the best way for me to think about stuff is to say it out loud. Uh, so this tag will ask me questions and we'll try and work it out together what the hell I'm known for. So first question actually is an aspirational question. Oh, this, is, this was created by Big Al Does Booktube. Uh, and the first question is, what do you want your channel to be known for? And I guess I want this channel to be known for uh, thoughtful book commentary. <laughs> for, for somebody, I want it to be known uh, as a channel for... Uh, a place where a place where the creator is really trying to think through the books that he is reading that he's trying to kind of to to really engage to really struggle not just go this one's okay next this one's okay next but go like what happened why did this happen why did the author make the choices they made uh, a questioning uh, book channel a questioning uh, critical and celebratory channel. Um, uh, there's been a lot, there's been talk lately about, you know, positivity on booktube, but I think, um, not to reiterate, not to completely rehash that again, but that the, the idea of, uh, being critical about a book is as celebratory as being positive about a book. That means I'm engaging with a book. I care about the book and I'd like to bring, uh, I'd like my channel to be known for that that passion about books um yeah this is a guy who gets really excited about books that's what i want the channel to be known for uh what content will people what content will people find on your channel uh there's book reviews on my channel uh there's tag videos on my channel there is I've, i i did one check-in i probably i think i'm gonna do monthly check-ins that's that's what hopefully you're going to find on this channel is me doing monthly check-ins uh, to do sort of a bit of a roundup of what I've been reading um, on the on the channel. Um, doing little essays, hopefully uh, every once in a while, little essays on topics, just general topics, uh, probably mostly in the kind of the bookish realm about books or about uh, how we on booktube kind of deal with deal with books that positive or negative thing stuff like that uh, number four what books are you known for championing um i don't know if i'm i don't know if i'm known for champion i don't know if there's any book i've loved so much i mean uh when i get really enthusiastic about like a book like in the year that i was reading Kristen lavin's daughter i was probably going on about Kristen lavin's daughter uh don quixote um um, you know, in the past, I definitely, I went through a whole tr trollop stage where I was really banging on about trollop all the time. Uh, I don't know if that's championing as much as bludgeoning people with the books. Uh, maybe not doing as much of that as, as possible. And yeah, I guess if you go, what author is regularly featured on your channel? And I mean, I, the trollop is actually past channel. Um, on this one, I guess at the moment, maybe it'll be Barbara Tuckman is the, is the, is the best. And that's only two books. Uh, I'm not a fast reader. Um, so you, you know, and I try and kind of space out my reading of, of authors uh, for a lot of the time. Like if I'm reading a trilogy, I don't want to read the whole trilogy through because I'm such a slow reader. I'll often take breaks in between. Um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's what books you're known for championing, what author are regularly featured on channel. What can people expect in the future? Reveal some exciting plans. Well, I don't know how exciting they are. You, you, if you've been watching this channel, you already know I'm doing this 1901 project where I'm reading into an era of uh, 1890 to 1910, all centering around 1901, the uh, birth, birth year of my grandfather uh, on my father's side. And that's, that is, that's, that, so you can be see you'll expect to be seeing a lot of Project Gutenberg because all those works are out of copyright. Uh, and uh, also nonfiction books about that era. I have just finished up The Proud Tower by Barbara Tuckman, Barbara Tuckman, uh, dealing with that era. Um, so 
you can see, you'll, you you can expect a lot of that. I mean, extremely off uh, backlist, extreme backlist. Uh, well, not maybe extreme, but you know, backlist books that uh, nobody else is particularly reading at the moment, or you know, the odd person is reading. It, it's it's the kind of niche stuff that I enjoy. I mean, I guess if that's the other thing, is my channel is going to be known for inevitably is that yeah jay kind of goes off on his own and does his own little reading projects that that not not too many other people are are probably doing um i'm sure there's other ones out there probably doing it better but uh this is my own little my own little efforts from that um so the uh number seven is tag people and state what you know them for um i mean Steve Donahue has just done this tag. So, you know, he is known for just stupendous amount of books that just pass through uh, his, through him and how he uh, has them in his mind mastered uh, and can talk on them at length at the drop, of, a drop of a hat. Um, there's uh, Kelly at Books I'm Not Reading, most definitely would be somebody I would put on that list uh, who is, oh God, just kind of, cozy and welcoming and uh just such a warm warm presence on 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 her channel i a lot of times i don't know if our book tastes actually overlap but there's just like i just so enjoy going to her channel because i know it's going to be uh just so that warm and inviting stuff uh there's uh brian at bookish who speaking of somebody who's become uh, far more uh, of a like his his chops as a booktuber have so improved over the years, uh, which uh, I'm always de you know impressed with from his uh, thumbnails to his structuring. Uh, someone who is, is, is a, the hidden thing of a lot of people being either uh, they worked in bookstores and were used to talking to to people coming in about books at the drop of a hat, or people who were teachers and. Um, have that kind of skill of being able to kind of impart their knowledge to other people in a such a um such a digestible and uh, clear and uh, and for Brian like just sort of calm and uh focused manner but extremely passionate uh passionate in his beliefs and his his he will he will he will he will he will uh he will he will fight for those beliefs he will not fight for them but he will he will, he, he will, he will answer back, uh, if you're, if you, if you, um, uh, come at him, I guess is the way to put it. There's a little, there, there's a bit of the gladiator in there. Um, you know, and there are many others, there are many others. Um, and I'm, I'm just probably going to stop with that. I mean, uh, Joel, Sh Sh uh, Swagman, uh, I really enjoy his channel. He does do like kind of long, what I would consider the old style kind of long reviews, which, um, you know, I don't listen to as many of those as I perhaps should. But when I do just sort of put one on and start listening, it's like uh, they're, they're deceptively, they go by very quickly for me. They're, 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 I just really, really, really enjoy those. Um, yeah. Yeah. And there's, there are many others. There are many others. Of course, I can't think of them right now because I'm just doing this off the top of my head. I may list some more down below, but uh, for the moment, I will leave it there. All right. More videos later.